All right, so we have another expression, two variables, two uh, integers that are in the addition uh, step of PEMDAS, of our order of operations. First things first is to identify like terms. As I said before, I like to bracket if possible, so these ones are together. So we'll bracket those. This is two different looks at the same problem. Um, I want to... I want to change this to yellow here. I want to take a bracket out for these. And if they're not together, as in this problem here, I like to bracket them such as that. Uh, just kind of help your eye and train your eye to what you're looking at here. So when you have two of something, A plus A, we have two A's. So that's going to be 2A. And then negative 10 plus 3 is going to be our negative 7. The top will come out to the same. We have a plus a, so 2a, and then negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. Okay. Generally, I like to rewrite these. I'll show you how I like to rewrite them um, as we plug in. To double check this, again, I'm going to use the same number. I'm going to use 1. It's just very simple. It makes the math a little easier uh, until we get the process down. So when I rewrite it, I want to use parentheses where I put my... Uh, value in from my variable. This just lets me know and helps me keep track of what I'm doing and what I'm plugging in and what the original problem looked like. Okay, so this is both of them. We're just double checking and then we came up, we had 2 a minus 7 was our simplification for both of them. So I'm just going to drag those down there and we'll solve together uh, with this. Um, let's use blue here. 1 minus 10 is negative 9 plus our 1 is negative 8 plus our 3 equals negative 5. Okay, so the top one is there. We'll just circle that. Let's leave that there for now. Staying with the blue, 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 10 is negative 8 plus R3, negative 5. So this will show you, this here shows you that this expression and this expression are the same thing even though the order is different. So if our simplification is right, then both of these methods, are, both of these top and bottom are correct. Okay, so now back down to here. 2 times 1 is 2, minus R7 equals negative 5. So that checks out. Okay, so both views of that problem, they can be in any order. Uh, the A's can be on the outside bracketing the numbers, the ten, negative 10 can be in front, all the different variations of this problem, but it checks out as long as you combine like terms. Okay, and I want to step back to the A plus A portion because some people are having troubles or may have troubles uh, seeing this or viewing this. So 1 plus 1 equals 2 times 1. Correct. So we have two ones. Right. 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. So here we have two A's. So this will be 2A. Basically, you're just taking out the multiplication when you butt it up against it because if we were going to take it out the X here, and just put it together, the 2 and the 1, it'd be 21. So we, we can do that with a variable. And generally, we just use the parentheses or our dot for multiplication now that we're in expressions and using variables. All right. Hopefully, that's clear. I know it got messy at the end. Uh, if you need to, pause, replay, anytime.